Hello everyone, welcome back to Spa and Brawl. Hope you're having a decent day. As always, I'm joined by my co-host Sam. Okay, so Sam, everyone has probably seen or seen sections or like parts of the whole Meghan and Harry interview with Oprah. Any immediate takes or anything you want to get off your chest? I mean, me, me personally, okay, so the two damning things that really came out or that I've heard of, one is that, you know, she was asked, Megan was asked, or there were like talks about what's going to be the how dark their their ch- their child's skin color is going to be, and then Megan also mentioned that how her situation was so bad that she was having suicidal thoughts and everything. So I mean, I didn't break down every single argument that I heard here or there, or whether they're true or not. Every single them, and maybe there some other angles that need to be discussed. But I mean, I very much enjoyed it. I mean, the queen herself, she doesn't have the worst reputation. And even Meghan said that, oh, yeah, no, the queen is nice, but it's all the other ones. And then all the other ones, I was just thinking of, you know, Prince Andrew and the shit that came out with him last year. And I can just imagine this oh, old uh, institution uh. and the people that would be there would say like all kinds of like weird things and just be, in, you know, trying to maintain their status and how they see the world in the way that they are. But so I just, you know, I enjoyed it in that way, bashing them. But you tell me, what did you make of it? Look, uh, the thing is, uh, yes. Um, first of all, I, my, my problem is not so, like, obviously these things are bad to be a racist or to ask about some of these child's skin color or something. But I don't understand the surprise and the fact that what she when she married into this family, what she thought she's marrying some progressive like liberals with. What did you expect? These are on average, like the average age is <laughs> above 60. They, you know, they used to run an empire and now they run a small island. So, you, you know, the, the expectation for them not to be racist is what is so surprising to me or to be very sensitive to because what she said was that some one member of the family or one member of the entourage inquired about oh how uh, brown is the kid going to be what you thought this is not something that they all going to think about or that goes through their mind so i i mean i just yeah i, I don't understand what they expected and uh, you know it's like expecting a you know a crocodile to not you know eat other animal like what, what it's na- the nature of the thing and then and, and the whole interview i watched parts of it and i don't know it felt like an act and they kept trying to compare uh, compare herself to diana and the fact that you know uh, apparently diana had a tour of australia as well and since that tour and how she outshined i don't know what what they're on about really truly i don't know what they're on about when they say she outshone everybody else and she was so good at the but job but that's what true though right no i don't job. know about the job but i mean she was as famous as when i was a kid i knew yeah, about she, princess diana yeah. but i didn't know about the other ones really i but, mean so she did yeah. become extremely popular famous sure sure yeah yeah but so did kate middleton middleton and so did Meghan Merkel. I'm not saying that's not true. I'm saying that they try to force, like, compare her. They're trying to make her a second Diana. And then uh, I think, the, if I'm not mistaken, I read this, that Harry at some point said, we, we don't want the same tragedy to happen. Mm-hmm. Oh, for fuck's sake. Like, so is that is that saying that they kill, that her family, that his family killed her mom? Is that what he's suggesting? Her mom? No, 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 no. No, that's the conspiracy theory that, Al Fayed sort of pushed. So what is he uh, suggesting? Uh, he, uh, I think the official story and what he suggests is that that uh, she was being harassed by tabloid press, and I think that's exactly that's what happened. That she okay. was trying to escape from these paparazzi who were taking pictures in the tunnel, and she asked the driver to drive faster, and that led to the tragedy, uh, the accident, and her death. So. You know, uh, and she, besides that, she was very much bothered in her personal life because of paparazzi mm-hmm. and all that. And again, sure, but you know, when you get into this game, it's like you know, becoming a president and then complaining about the publicity you get. You know, oh, I can't go to restaurants anymore alone without anyone noticing. Of course, you can. 
Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say it's exactly like that. I I get your comparison, and I mean, yeah, I guess you could tell Megan. You know, Megan should have been should have known and better then, what oh, she's wait, getting wait, wait, herself. They, compl- they complain about lack of security and the fact that apparently family members said maybe she should continue acting. I mean, it, this kind of sounds like actually the royal family makes royal family kind of sound normal in that you know. Guys, we don't have extra money running around. You know, money doesn't grow on trees. Well, when it comes to you, we suddenly don't have extra money for some security. Maybe you could interpret it that way. Oh no, no, the security thing. Yeah, that that yeah. that's a genuine. I guess so, uh, that's not fair. You know, but the fact that they wanted her to work was not, in my view. Uh, yeah, crazy. but I mean, that's kind of like also. I don't know. I don't know. That's also like. I mean, it depends. If you go around telling everybody else part of the royal family, hey, listen, you should find a second job. Money, <laughs> Money's kind of <laughs> tight around here. <laughs> or telling her, hey, listen, girl, <laughs> you know, go These back. Castles don't, <laughs> don't fix themselves. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever had a real job? Did you ever work at McDonald's? <laughs> By the way, that's the only real job in the U.S. So if anybody doesn't work at McDonald's or hasn't worked yeah, at McDonald's... Uh, Burger they, King and Wendy's sadly don't count. No, no, no. It has to be McDonald's. <laughs> Subway? <laughs> no, no, no. I don't think people on Fox know Subway. <laughs> That's not kind of their thing. You, you have to have worked yeah. at McDonald's. Mm-hmm. It's so funny. But, so did you watch the Novaro media coverage? I mean, I was really enjoying it. I watched so they brought, Yeah. yeah. So they brought a reporter who kind of specializes in these things, and I mean, she knew a lot. And her, yeah, her takes, her detail, what, stories that she was sharing, and the details that she knew that was very interesting. I would. She made a good point though that both Diana, because she was aristocratic and rich, and Meghan Markle, because she was a acting celebrity in U.S., although somewhat second rate, uh, they, they they both. Rep- presented great opportunities for royal family to re uh let's say you know they could have it was good opportunity for actually remarketing and running a good marketing campaign for a while but both times it's fuck got fucked up basically through tensions within the family so that's it turned into a media disaster instead of a media victory yeah i mean but, but yeah but i mean i'm just thinking a bit of, again at the thing though that you're saying with like megan she should have seen it coming and stuff but at least what you can say perhaps is that now that she experienced that she didn't let it and whatever she didn't like it and i didn't let, didn't let it drag on forever i mean they only got married a year what two years ago or something so this divorce with the royal no, family happened let it, pretty let it drag on she just started milking it as soon as she could basically Listen, you gotta me. make money in this world <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah yeah fair enough fair enough though yeah, yeah. you gotta you know, when you you're in uh, this game and to be fair they didn't get paid for this interview but obviously yeah but i mean of course fair. you know if, if oprah wants me to do an interview she doesn't have to pay me for that one i'm sure <laughs> i'll reap the benefits a few weeks down yeah, the line somehow. <laughs> Yeah, to be honest, we've been contacted by Opera a few times, yeah. but I said, I said, no, it's beneath us. <laughs> I told her I don't like this house setting, it's too casual. When you're, once you're yeah, back yeah. in the studio. <laughs> yeah, look at that, look, I'm wearing a tie and everything. <laughs> yeah, I saw a few clips, that was her house, right? And they were like, were they I don't feeding horses no, or I... dogs at one point? I, I, I so... have a feeling she doesn't have a house. Oh, I have yeah. a feeling she has many houses, <laughs> so yeah, probably... <laughs> What was some of them adjusted to a studio yeah. of some kind? I don't know. Yeah, and the and on TV they were like, yeah, and she had an interview with like um, Megan had an interview with the queen of U.S. media, Oprah. But it made me think, damn, Oprah is still famous and big. I mean, she became huge. What early nineties or mid nineties? I would say mid nineties or even early two thousand was her peak. Yeah, but that she was, was definitely her peak from early nineties, probably. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, to be fair, I was very young. I don't really know. Maybe I'm yeah. talking. Maybe she was famous before that because I know she had acted in, like, I think she was in Color Purple by Steven Spielberg, yeah. which is an '80s movie. I think, I think. But uh, yeah, no, no, she's yeah, she's a still huge. Although I don't think she has this. She gets the same numbers naturally yeah. since the you know um, streaming revolution and all that. You know, everything's changed. And what do you make of the whole UK tabloid thing? I mean, that must be a vicious fight, though, to have to sure, fighting with them your whole why, life. Why, no, why I'm not saying they're... good or bad. I'm not laying judgment. I'm just no, no, saying no, no, no. It, there, it's, that would be a hard thing. Dis- 
I no, I don't understand why it would be hard. They are the most disgusting <laughs> newspapers in the world, and they write the most disgusting things. But they are tabloid UK newspapers, and nobody takes them seriously. Why would you care? Mm-hmm. I don't understand. That's I that's see. my view. Like they they write about aliens and you know um, lizard people and you know conspiracy theories and QAnon and you know. They keep, uh, you know, who gives a shit what bunch of racist things? So I don't understand what pressure. I, but know, what kind of position? Of, but the, the, I mean, you know, who, who are the readers of tabloids? I, 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 to be honest, I'm just making an uneducated guess here, but I assume sort of largely working class male, or right. to be honest, maybe male and female. But uh, I wouldn't imagine it's. Uh, I think I. Th- think maybe I'm wrong and being an elitist right now, but I think it's more of more popular among the working class than, you know, middle and lower middle classes. You know, people are interested in gossip, probably, you know, mm-hmm. that I would imagine I that that's my thinking, though. I, again, uneducated guess. Yeah. Well, yeah. But I mean, yeah. I think overall, though, at the end, I will say that I enjoy this story. Because, you know, some fun, entertaining things come out, some accusations come out, and, like, everything you said about Megan is true. So I don't, you know, <laughs> I don't feel particularly no, no, yeah, yeah. bad about her in that way, although I think she's probably making some things that are very true, and, you know, whether she should have seen those are coming or not, it's not going to be enjoyable it's, living that life. So much, yeah, I don't have so much with Megan Merkel, per se. It's just Is that her last say, name, oh. Merkel, or you're making a mistake? Markle, I think. Oh. Maybe I mispronounced it. Yeah, Markle. She's going for Germany so. next. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you about Angela, how she treated me. You know, she talked about my baby. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's just the, the way people, like, I don't know what's, like, I think I mentioned this before, but Bill Bear has this great bit about the fact that people find out that owner of the basketball team uh, he's racist. His voice came out. His girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember that and, guy. He and, owned and he the was, New York. Yeah, uh, Bill Burr was saying that, you know, what did you expect? This is a man who was raised by people who finished off the American Indians genocide, you know? <laughs> what did you think he's going to be like a progressive thinker that believes yeah. in, you know, uh, racism? Yeah, it's just the, 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 how do you say it? The frenzy surrounding it is yeah. really annoying to me because there doesn't seem to, to me, none of this seems surprising. I mean, I'm very much surprised yeah, yeah. that, to be honest, family, like, they didn't say far worse things. Yeah, 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 no, exactly. And, and not just their family, by the way. We all have families, and I think we have all had great uncles or grandpas or I something. Mean, poor uncles, they're, they're thrown under the... <laughs> but they're, they're <laughs> At every <laughs> turn... <laughs> Even if you're the one who holds these messed up opinions, my yeah. uncle. <laughs> it's hard to say, you know, people don't want to say my dad or mom yeah. or grandpa, the direct line. So they go, yeah, uncle, we all have that crazy uncle that, you know. No, but you know what I mean? These are not, uh, what, I mean, I don't, ex- I, don't, I think there should be laws that safeguard people against racism and all, all that. You can't expect people who've been raised in a completely different world to change their minds. Oh, yeah. I don't think they're gonna. I mean, you okay, expect it, but you're gonna be disappointed. Yeah. In such a, I mean, I think the um, the person who was at Novaro Media was talking about like also even the, the younger generations, like this military school that they're sent to or whatever it is, oh, yeah, this yeah. boarding school. I mean, apparently, even though it's for rich people, it's not the most, or maybe it's not for rich oh, people, it's, but it's not uh, the yeah, most yeah, enjoyable place yeah, to go. I think. I think there are even diaries of Charles that have been published of his time, or I don't know if it's diaries or people reporting or whatever. But yeah, it's terrible, man. I've been to, I went to a British boarding school. It can be really tough, and they, you know, bullying is very common, although not so much in the international section. But yeah, bullying is, it's kind of like the, you know, Eton Oxford thing that, you know, there are all these rituals and initiations and, Weird bullshit and I mean, I despise these kind of things more than anything. Yeah, and Charles didn't want to do military, and his Philip apparently was the one who was very, you know, he was saying that a prince or future king should definitely do military training and all that. <laughs> so yeah, if you choose it, it's fine. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. Interesting. 
But yeah, let's see if more comes out. Apparently, the the queen and whatever the royal family they haven't responded yet, right? No, no. Although Oprah Official. came out and made it clear that the person who had asked about the color of the baby was not Philip or the queen. Uh, it was so, which kind of makes you think it was probably William. Let's be honest. <laughs> But I hate Wait, William that, is that... a brother? Is the older brother? Yeah, he's the one that's older? No, younger. Younger. O- the oldest is Charles. That's why he's the king to be. Oh, okay, okay. No, wait, yeah. But I mean, there are two young brothers in the family, too. And there's the one married to Meghan and there's the one married to Kate. Oh, you're talking about. Yeah, Grant. These, these are, are Grant. Charles's yeah, son. yeah, Charles's sons. Yeah, Charles' sons, yeah. What's the, un- the uncle who was the friend with G- Gillian Maxwell? Maxwell. Oh, um, Andrew. Andrew. Sorry, yeah, I said yeah. William. William is the name of the older brother. Right, right. Yeah. yeah, Andrew. Probably it was either Andrew or maybe one of Philip's yeah. friends. I don't know. <laughs> that <laughs> interview that Andrew gave to the Prince Andrew oh, gave to the BBC. I mean, you know, whenever there are these kind of interviews and you're like, oh, yeah, I'm sure there's so much crap shit in it. I'm going to go hear all the crap stuff and come come say it here. And stuff. But sometimes like, ah. Oh, Fine. This person yeah, like yeah. controlled themselves the... well. They said, uh, "Yeah, I can't really twist it." But no, him. He's like, "Here's a buffet. Go." <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> yeah. are very well rehearsed. This one. I mean, I love the fact that as he was sweating, he was <laughs> arguing that he he didn't sweat at the time because of a military injury in Falkland. It's, it's like the, I, it was the most idiotic thing I've ever heard. And but, I think yeah. they left it at that, right? I think people were like. Okay, everyone's satisfied. Well, I think people wanted more. They yeah. decided to, yeah, let's lock him in the basement because you know, <laughs> let's not put him in front of cameras. Man, or but you see these these shows about like, you know, big like noble families and all these things and like, you know, messed up things that happen. So I can just imagine what goes on in like a royal I, family. I, and everything. I think I've told, I've told you this, but I'm watching this great TV show, Succession. And mm. yeah, it's... I mean, you even in a much a smaller scale, families have oh, exactly yeah. attentions and problems. And when you add money and power to a unlimited extent, when it, to you know like that much money and power, things are gonna get very complicated, probably. Yeah, yeah, I guess even if but money yeah, is I running think, low. I mean, to be to be fair, I do realize that we are covering somewhat of a non-news and a bit of a gossipy thing we, and we are being a bit tabloidy ourselves here yeah. but you know it was fun hey we're not trying to say vicious stuff about people for no reason but we're having some fun here i feel like i can talk about the three things that i know about this <laughs> over and over again and just enjoy it uh, but yeah i guess that's anything else about this story, royal family, anything like no, that? No, I, I I read that all the, a lot of press are contacting the royal family for uh, you know comments and all that. So far, there hasn't been any, but uh, we get back to you with any yeah. updates. I suppose now we and, are we are slightly moving to the tabloid. This is going to be our tabloid sort of coverage yeah. <laughs> from now. Okay, all right. Well, thank you everybody for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. I will see you in our next video. Thank you. Thank you. Take care.